Nicola, let's say I want to go from here to here or even here. It doesn't really matter where I want to go because I have everything I need in my hands. And by the way, to go from here to here, I needed you. So thank you so much for that. Jesus, then by the and he says thank you as well. Now let's go back here. There is four ways that I use to move around in Yangon. First of all, walking, unsurprisingly. But that's not possible to do all the time, especially during the raining season. Because when it rains, it's really raining. And the rain here doesn't play around. Bus and train, they are okay, but I still have to go to the stop, which makes it not really convenient. But it's quite cheap, like 300 chats. I think now 400 chats, not sure, but pretty good. And you should make sure that you keep your belongings safe because apparently there is some pickpockets. I'm just presenting Yangon as a foreigner living in Yangon, Myanmar. If you'd like to see more, drop a like in this video. What I really use the most is the taxi. So convenient. But not any taxi, but Grab. It's pretty much like Uber. You can pay with cart and everything and it's just convenient to use. You can also share your ride details with someone else. And by the way, a couple of times I forgot stuff in the taxi and they always end up coming back. So I think it's pretty safe. And please note that Grab is not available during the curfew hours for obvious reasons. So stay home. Usually the price is a little bit less than 1,200 or whatever miles it is. And that's basically how I move in Yangon. If you want to know the cost of living in Yangon, you should watch this one first. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta!